But for this simple interrupted suture, the first thing I like to do is to throw a suture in the very middle of the wound. So look at the end and let's put one right in the middle. This will help approximate the wound but also keep equal distance in between each suture. So as you drive the needle through, complete the circle. Drive the tip, there you go, to the right. Now I'm going to lay a surgeon's knot. Simply wrap the suture twice around the needle driver and complete. See how flat this is? And then one and a second where you just wrap the suture around once around the needle driver. And I'm going to pull this suture knot to the left. It's really just a preference, but it allows the person taking the sutures out uh, easier to take them out. So now look at the middle of the wound, measure the distance to the end, and we're going to put one right in the middle. Again, this will allow equal distance in between each suture. Complete the circle. Wrap the suture twice around the needle driver. Notice it's flat, then once, and a third time. We're going to repeat this for each of the wounds. Look how well the wound is approximating. Now these loose ends, when I cut this suture, I'm going to look at the previous suture and try to make it as equal as I can. This will make the sutures look more aesthetic. Now let's move up to the top. Measure the top to the last suture, take the middle, throw another suture, driving, completing the circle. There we go. A suture knot will follow in the surgeon's knot twice here. Then we'll go once and twice for three for this particular suture. Now notice the wound does look approximated, but I'm going to throw a few more here to get this tissue a little closer. Measure this suture to the end of the wound. Take half the distance. Right now I'm using 2O Silk. It's a really popular suture. I'm actually using a larger needle here so you can see. I really would prefer a little smaller needle and maybe a suture of a 3 maybe in this little small wound. But for demonstration purposes this needle will suffice. Notice equidistance, equal length on those free ends of the suture. So there's the very top. Let's throw one more right here. Notice I'm driving that needle into the subcutaneous tissue. Don't be too superficial. The suture will not hold. Again. Very good. As you can see, just a few more areas that aren't well approximated. Two, three, four. So we'll do right here in these two large spaces. Remember, simple interrupted suture really is for wounds that don't have a lot of tension on them and superficial that aren't really, really deep. This, this wound actually is very perfect. Nice surgeon's knot here. And a third. Let's pull this knot to the left to make all of them be on the same side. Again, equal links. Looks like there's one more space right there we can address. Excellent. 
We'll take this one right here. Uh, just pull that one through. Look, this will happen in real life as well too. So don't give up. Don't take them out. You can simply just re-enter that same area, which is what I'm going to do right now. There you go. And drive through. And this one's going to close really, really good. Nice and approximated. Notice how equal those free ends on each of the individual sutures are equal. And also have all the knots tied on the end as well too. All right. A little fine tuning here. I'm really looking for approximation of the wound and the sutures all look very nice. Alright, well this complete the simple interrupted suture.